We got there, Dan. Battery. All right. Mod Mod battery. Hold on. Explain it to me first. So this is the size of a Tesla battery. We're going to need 13 or 14 of these to power the motor that we're talking about getting. Yeah. And so we got to find space for 13 or 14 of these. Did you steal those from the U.S. Postal Service, Dan? I, I had uh, leftover boxes from Christmas shipping because couldn't see anybody at Christmas, couldn't go anyplace, so we shipped a lot of stuff and I had leftover boxes. Mm -hmm. Dan's a criminal. They're free. It's called recycling. <laughs> That's right. They're free. So. All right, let's take a look. So, if we're going to put the motor up front, we want to put the battery weight back here. So, we can put, it looks like we could put two of them here, and then we can stack them up and probably go three. That gives us five. And another three, that gives us eight. We might have to... Yeah, what about going that way? What about stacking them like that? If we did that, we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could get eight in the fuel tank. And, and, and how much do they weigh, weigh each? I got, I've got to go look it up. I think 37 pounds. 37 pounds times eight. That's 370 pounds. Behind well, the rear we go wheel. 10, we go 10, we put another one up here yep. on top or stack two more this way on top. Mm -hmm. That's 370 pounds in the rear. And we need to, we need to try to get a couple up over the axle mm -hmm. to, to manage the weight. So we could probably go two up there. If we delete the rear seat, we could go where the seat was and build a box where the seat was we could. And, and get some weight in front of the axle. We could. And, and that's what, even though these are mock-up sizes of the battery, it doesn't, uh, the box is going to have to be a little bit bigger mm -hmm. because we need wires going into it, we need cooling going into it, uh, and all of that's got to be factored into the size of the box. And, and we're going to need at least a couple of inches of the box size on either end. Do these fit this way? Yeah, they could sit a little lower for sure. Yeah, we, can, we can build a box that fits right where the factory gas tank goes in, and they would sit without like being too low because we're going to lower the car. They could sit about that, six inches down. And if we put so, a couple up on top, I wouldn't go. One, I wouldn't make them any lower two. than the frame rail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But. Still, we can just make a box, whatever mm -hmm. that is. What is that? It's just pretty much where that bottom of that tray sat. Hmm. I, I, well, I mean. I'm kind of voting for half behind where the rear seat was and half, half where the rear seat was and then half in the back for balance, for better, better weight distribution. Because if you have too much weight behind the rear wheels, it's going to affect your steering. Yeah, it's going right. to pop, pop the weight out the front end. And, and we could put a couple of them, maybe four up front. Up front. You said how many total how do, we many do we need? 13, 13 minimum, 14 maximum for the most part. So 14. Can they, sit, I, I would can they 14. sit flat or vertical? Mm -hmm. Four or five here. Don't forget, we could cut out that sheet metal back there and make as big a box as we need to make. Well, and you could put, you could put them this way. You could do three, three, three there on top of them. So. Yeah. So that's seven back here. Well, you and then you could also do. You could offset one. A but that's putting but the, a lot of weight behind that. And, and the higher you go, the worse your performance because you're increasing your center of weight. Yeah. So we want them low as possible and somewhat balance the weight 50-50, right? Mm -hmm. So the 
did a fact check. 58 pounds. 58 pounds? 58 pounds. So each. Each. Okay, so do some math, Dan. What's 50, what's 60 times 14? 812 pounds. So 812 pounds, and what's the weight of the motor? Dry weight, 291 pounds. So to balance it, we need... It would be five in the front. That would be okay. Yeah, five, five in the front, yeah. And nine in the back. So these are going to be... These are deleted. Yeah. So... Like, you, you could but we have a control and we have other... We have... Yeah, but that we, have, we could put back here. The back and it's these, small. The these are gone small. and we've got these rails here. Mm -hmm. Why not just put two of them right here? Two, what two about, on either side. What about putting two like that? Like a heavy? Yeah. yeah. It, it, after we have these shock towers out. You, you can also go here. Probably do three and get you right up over the center of the axle. I kind of like doing like two, two, and then we could probably fit a couple in front. Put them right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So two, four, six. Because we'll have the motor, we'll have our magic box, which will have the controller, uh, the BMS. Uh, master in it, um, a couple of uh, switches, off on switches, uh, the charger will sit in it, and, and so that's going to be, you know, so big. Can we put the charger in the back? We probably could put the charger in the back. Uh -huh. Put it under the dash, like you said. Yeah, you know, we could put it under the dash. Do you need it close to where the plug is going to go? Mm -hmm. No, the plug's just wire, so we can stretch as much wire as we want. Okay. And our uh, display management system will be in there to match it up.